Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday. It's another Frilici Friday. And okay, seriously, OMG, I'm looking outside. It is like getting toward the end of April and it is snowing here in Michigan. Oh, it's just craziness. So like, it's probably been over a week ago now. Anyway, we had really nice, oh my gosh, I've already got, okay, it was saying like low connection already. So hey, Jamie, hey, Aaron. Thanks you guys for joining us and welcome everybody to another, like I said, another Facebook Friday. Hey, Kay, for Lychee Friday, right? We are gonna have some fun today. So if you are new to watching Facebook Live, either on the live right now, or if you're catching the recording later on Facebook, on our Facebook group right here, or on our, our YouTube channel, we go live. Hey, Nikki. Hello, Kay. Hello, everybody. You guys, thank you so much. Um, we go live most every Friday at 11.30 a.m. right here on the Gathering Ink with the K Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio Facebook group. I make two projects on our Facebook Live featuring our product of the week that we've been uh, showcasing all week long right here on our Facebook group. This week, it is the Inspiring Iris Stamp Set beautiful stamp set. I have loved playing with this. I actually made a class to go with it as well. I loved it so much I couldn't stop playing with it and I was like we're gonna make it our product of the week so I can make more fun projects with this. So hey Christine, hello. You're, you are very welcome for your help on your order. I'm glad you can join us here. So yay! Congratulations on getting your first order in too. That's always fun and the most fun is when your Stampin' Up! box arrives on your doorstep. Um, hey Nancy, hello. So guys thanks everybody. I'm just so excited. Um, I always think we're gonna have even more people, hey Philomena, able to watch the live because most people are at home these days, right? So hopefully you guys are all doing well and staying safe at home and just kind of plugging along through this crazy like COVID-19 situation. I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, anyway, just hopefully you guys are all doing, doing well and doing fine, right? So let's see, what else do I wanna tell you guys about? Oh, so actually, so the projects that we're gonna demonstrate um, here on Facebook Live, if you want any details, I'm gonna give you everything in terms of you know what we're using um, and dimensions and colors and that sort of thing, but it will all be documented over on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com this afternoon after our Facebook Live. I'll get everything uploaded and it'll all be there for you to get item codes, dimensions, colors, everything that you need to know to make the projects yourself, or if you need to order anything to make the projects all that info will be there as well right so then in addition if you put an online order in and use the host code that's on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com you will also get the projects that I'm going to demonstrate this afternoon on Facebook live you just need to put at least a $30 order in and you get those projects for free you can either get the make and takes and make them yourself or you can get the completed cards completed projects mailed to you. So, and once I see your online order, I just send you a quick email and say, do you want completed cards? Uh, do you want the make and takes? And then the other thing that I always ask you is if you bump your order up to $50, do you want the free embellishment? I have to show you guys what that is. Um, with a $50 order, either one, you can pick a free embellishment, which are the brand new. These are the Gilded Gems. So they kind of look, what was I thinking? It's almost like they look like um, a rhinestone, but they're like a gold rhinestone. Can you guys see the sparkliness? So you can pick either the rhinestone, that's our free embellishment with a $50 order this month, or the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial. I have yet to actually be able to print in color my April tutorial, so don't notice that, right? That's the March, you guys probably couldn't have even seen it, right? Anyway, the PDF tutorial um, is a color, in color, tutorial. So this is last month's again, but it kind of gives you an idea how many pages and projects that are in there. 16 different projects with all of the dimensions, everything that you need to know to recreate those projects. So either one you can pick free with a $50 order too. So just so you guys know, that's how it works around here at the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio. Okay. Um, let me see what else do I want to tell you guys about? Yeah. Okay. I did all that. Um, okay. So kind of funny you guys thank you oh Philomena thank you for the share too you guys that's another thing I truly truly appreciate your comments your likes and loves and even if you don't like it you can tell me that too um, and then your shares of the video I truly appreciate that that helps um, kind of from a Facebook ranking perspective the more comments and shares and likes and all of that that helps me kind of reach out to more people and then the shares especially when you share um, on your own personal page or on other craft 
collecting groups that you're a part of, sharing this Facebook Live video helps me reach new fun stampers so we can bring more people into our fun community of stamping friends, right? So, hey Debbie, hello, welcome. So, okay, on like a funny side note, um, it was my niece, Emma, it was her 18th birthday yesterday. So I don't know, I think some of you guys saw on my um, personal Facebook page, um, my sister sent a picture. She made this like big poster board sign that she put out in the front yard. Um, and it basically said honk to wish Emma a happy 18th birthday. And they live on a pretty main street in town. So then I was like, oh, once I saw her picture of the poster that she made, I had to post it and tell everybody to drive by and honk and wave too. So hey guys, good morning, Nancy. Um, so anyway, it was just kind of funny. I think you guys, some of you, had like cute little like happy birthday emojis and like Hong Kong emojis to say, you know, happy birthday for her. So, you know, because obviously 18th birthday stuck in your house, right? It's just not um, what she anticipated. She's also a senior here in high school, so she's going through all that. You know, it's just a bummer, like, you know, no graduation, no prom, no honors night. Um, we do open houses here in Michigan. I know you don't do them all over the country, but it's basically like a fun party to celebrate her. We're trying to figure. So hopefully some hodgepodge version of those things will still happen. But it's just, you know, it's kind of it's a big bummer for her because it's not what um, she's been expecting and anticipating. Um, they also do like a senior all night party that, of course, the parents have been fundraising for like all year. Um, and they've been planning for so you know just so many things that they've been working for that aren't gonna happen the way they hoped so um yeah so it was just fun though that sign um so my they apparently my niece Bryn and then her older sister Emma whose birthday it was they're like sitting um on the couch like which is right in the front window of their house and Emma kept noticing like why are people like driving by and honking and Bryn says because I keep like doing this when people like drive by like she's cueing them and then one time it happened you know they honked and like Emma was looking right at Bryn and she didn't make that motion so finally she was like what the heck is going on so then she looked out and it was kind of um, hidden by a tree, like a tree trunk, so she couldn't see it very well, but then finally she saw the sign in the yard and then she understood, okay, everyone's honking because it's her birthday. So anyway, just kind of a cute, um, you know, way to adapt, right, during this crazy COVID-19 time. So um, yeah, so anyway, lots of um, fun stuff going on too. So hey, Sharon, good morning. Um, all right, so let's see. Oh, and speaking of Sharon, I might as well show this beautiful Easter card that Sharon sent to me. Um, so it's the it's got um, actually some of our in colors too. Hey, Trisha, y'all, hello, hello. I'm glad you can join us. So um, this is uh, pineapple punch, and then this is grapefruit growth. So she used a couple of the retiring in colors on here too. And then the beautiful this was the celebration the Lily Impressions Designer Series paper, and I love. So do you see how? I love how she did this too, right? So she just put a little strip of designer series paper along there also. So thank you, Sharon, for your Easter card. That was so pretty and so nice uh, to get that card. So thank you, thank you very much. Um, okay, let me scoot that out of the way. What else do I wanna tell you guys about? I feel like, um, yeah, there's always lots to tell, but okay, why don't we, let's do our first drawing, right? So this drawing is for, this is the pre Pretty Peacock scalloped linen ribbon and that's in the package because I'm not going to open it and this is like a little strip that I have so can you guys see it's super cute because it's got it can you even see those little holes anyway it's scallop edge and it's got the little holes and it's got the linen running through it so it's super duper pretty and it comes in all of the 2019 21 in color so <laughs> yes hey Teresa you finally get to watch a live I'm seeing so many face like names on here too so yeah you're right it's not something that you're normally able to do so that's super fun I, I know I was saying that earlier I think um you know hopefully even more people can join us um, that wouldn't normally be able to right so okay back to our drawing so again we're drawing for the pretty peacock scalloped linen ribbon your name is in here if you shared the Facebook live video so anytime um, uh, from last Friday until Thursday night, I put everybody's names in here that shared the video. 
And also, if you're new to me and haven't signed up for my email list, my email list is the best way to stay informed about what's going on um, at the stamp studio and promotions with Stampin' Up and all kinds of good stuff. So if you have not signed up, go to my blog at Gathering Ink with a K, GatheringInspiration.com. There's a link right there to sign up for my email list. And hello, Miss Diane. Okay, so lots of names in here. We're going to toss these around and do our drawing to see who the winner is. Okay, I've got one in my hand. I'm always trying to make sure. Miss Sunday, Sunday Ostrander, who is in my downline, one of our Inkspired Stampers. Congratulations, Miss Sunday. So I will have this ribbon for you. I usually say down at the studio to pick up, but we're not even at the studio these days. So I will get this ribbon to you. So congratulations, Miss Sunday. And, okay, let me scoot that out of the way. So I'll show you guys what we are gonna give away. Let me make sure, yep, I have it here. Um, yes, right here. So this week, if you share the video or sign up for my email list anytime between now and next Thursday evening, you are gonna get your name in the drawing to win the champagne rhinestones. And I love these things. I ordered a couple more packs and I was like, okay, I can give one away. Um, Cause I, I'm truly hoping that these don't retire, but they're, I think they're on like the low inventory list, um, which makes me a little concerned that maybe we are gonna like uh, retire these and sell out of them. So anyway, you get your chance right here to win a package of the champagne rhinestones by um, sharing the video and signing up for my email list. So we'll draw for these next week. So just so you guys can see, they have, um, does it tell me? I think it says 140, I don't have my glasses on, but most of them are pretty small. They're actually more up underneath that little label right there. There are two rows of kind of a medium size and two rows of a larger size. So most of them are a smallish size and then a few medium and a few large. So they are beautiful. That champagne color is just so pretty. It's kind of like a rose gold, I don't know, champagne. Anyway, it's beautiful. So we will draw for those next week. All right, quick sip of water, hold on. I still cannot, seriously, Lily said earlier, I think it's snowing outside, Mom. I was like, what? It is not, but it really is. It won't really stick, but, oh, you gotta be kidding, right? Seriously, where's spring? <laughs> All right, um, oh yeah, okay, so I want to give a warm welcome to our newest Inkspired Stamper, Miss Pam Facting. Just bought the starter kit yesterday, and the funny thing was she sent me a message saying, so how soon after I get the starter kit can I put my first order in? And I was like, well, usually like a hot second after you put the starter kit order in, um, they'll send you, like they email you your demonstrator ID and your password so you can log on to the Stampin' Up! website, get stuff set up, and put your first order in. And so she's already done that. So she is well on her way. She's taking advantage of not being at work and not having to work, and she's keeping herself very well entertained with her new product. She actually put an order in for my buy one get one free sale. I think that kind of got her wheels turning. And then she's been sending cards, she said, to friends and kind of brightening their day. So she's having lots of fun with that. So spreading spreading that joy and that sunshine, she's been doing that. And now with getting the starter kit, that was a great deal. So just so you guys know, it's the standard starter kit deal right now. And she was asking um, about I think she originally contacted me about putting an order in and getting host rewards. And host rewards start at a $150 order. And I said, okay, yes, you can do that because you get 10% host rewards on a $150 order. That's the minimum, right? So that's like $15 in free stuff. Or if you're gonna put a big order in like that, why don't you get the starter kit? Because you actually get to pick $125 in product and pay only $99 plus sales tax, no shipping. So on a $150 order, I was gonna try to do the math on this. You spend $150 for your product, 10% shipping is another $15, and our 6% sales tax on all that, it was probably maybe another $10, so 25, it would be like a, oh, I did that wrong. Anyway, it would be a lot more money than if you put the starter kit deal order in and basically $99 plus sales tax gets you $125 and stuff. Plus, then now she's taking advantage of getting her 20% off of all of her orders after that. And she still can be the host of her own party or workshop or order and get host benefits. And that's one thing I neglect to tell people about, so I thought I wanna make sure I do that because 
Post rewards are on any order, a demonstrator order, a customer order, a workshop order. Once you get to $150 in orders on one order, you get host rewards. So whether you're a customer, whether you're a demonstrator, even as a demonstrator, you get all those kind of customer host benefits too. So something to think about and know if you're thinking you are, you know, you've got free time on your hands, right? And you wanna get a bunch of stuff, get the starter kit, Get your 20% off of all your orders, and when you get a, a, up to $150 order, you can start getting host benefits, more free stuff, too, on your orders. Plus, that $150 order, they take 20% off of that, so it's not even $150. So, it's an awesome, awesome deal, and I thought um, I would share that with you since Pam just took advantage of that. So, congratulations, Pam. And then we had another friend, Kelly Oldham, who just bought the starter kit during celebration. She has already reached her $300 quarterly sales minimum, way before she even needed to. So anyway, congratulations to Miss Kelly on that. So you guys are just rocking it out. We've got an awesome group of Inkspired Stampers. If you ever have thought about getting the starter kit, join with us and you can become a part of our group as well. We have a separate Facebook group. We're actually gonna do a meeting online on Facebook. Next week we're doing make and takes and some recognition for celebration. Lots of good stuff happens um, on our Inkspired Stampers group as well. So if you have any questions on the starter kit, let me know too, okay? Um, let's see, let's see what else. Let's do, no, we're gonna hold on to that for a sec. Um, oh, quick reminder, the clearance rack. They updated the clearance rack. There is a bunch of awesome stuff on there. And I kind of scrolled through quickly last night, a ton of dyes. So the dyes that are usually like, I don't know, anywhere from like 20 to 30 some dollars, they're all like super cheap. A lot of them are like, 30, 40, 50, 60% off. So check out the clearance rack. If you go to stampinup.com, I always say like on the left-hand side when you, um, yeah, if you go to shop on stampinup.com, on the left-hand side is like a whole list and one of them is clearance rack. Click on that and it gives you pictures of everything that's on the clearance rack. And then you can um, see if there's anything there that you need because what a great deal right now to get um, those items, they're all retired products. So none of it is current product, just so you know that. It's all retired product, not able to order out of any of our catalogs any longer. So, um, and things sold out. I, it was really, really crazy how quickly um, some of the things sold out on the clearance rack. So if you see something, don't wait, get on there, get it ordered um, so that you don't miss out on it too. So, um, and they do that, they never tell us. It's just one of those, hey, we updated the clearance rack. So it's like a random, we just kind of never know when that's going to happen. So, <coughs> excuse me. So, also, I learned that the paper pumpkin kit. So, we are right, actually, you're probably just about now getting maybe an April paper pumpkin kit. Makes me think I got to go check my mail to see if mine is out there. But the May paper pumpkin kit. So, if you have not subscribed to Paper Pumpkin, if you do that between now and May 10th, you are going to get to see our new 2020 2022 in colors before anybody else is so only demonstrators are going to be able to see them like online we can see the catalog in a couple i think it's like four days or something uh, but anyway other than that as a customer the only way you're going to be able to get your hands on our new in colors is if you buy that paper pumpkin if you subscribe i guess i should say um buy or subscribe to the paper pumpkin subscription by May 10th, you'll see the next round of in colors that are going to be in our next annual catalog that starts on, I think it's June 4th. So anyway, that's very cool. They'll like, I'm super excited. It's always so fun to see what the new in colors are. So speaking of that, I'll do a quick reminder on the retiring. So if you guys aren't familiar, I always think everybody knows everything and then I'm like, oh, maybe I should back up and explain. So these were the five in colors that came out almost two years ago. So the peachy, this is Grapefruit Grove, Blueberry Bushel, Pineapple Punch, Lovely Lipstick, and Call Me Clover. So they always bring out five new colors like every year and they're around for two years. So these came out two years ago, which means they're retiring. They're going away. You're not gonna be able to get any of these much longer. So if you want any product, cardstock, ink pad, refills, markers, ribbon, any of that in these colors, order it now while you still can. Because then there's a new set 
not these five colors, but a replacement of these five colors will come out in our new annual catalog. And that's what I was talking about, that you're gonna be able to see them on the paper pumpkin kit. So very, very, very cool, okay? So the other thing in conjunction with those retiring in colors, the retiring list I've been thinking about and kind of talking about, it's later this year. I was looking back at something that reminded me um, that it's later this year that we are getting our retiring list. They are gonna be coming out on next Wednesday, April 22nd. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I've like this frog in my throat. That is the list of everything from our current annual catalog and our current uh, spring mini catalog. Um, there's a whole list, it's huge and long, um, but it tells you everything that's retiring in those two catalogs. So if it's not on that list, it means it's gonna carry over into our next annual catalog. But there's always a ton of stuff that retires, so be watching for that. I think it's in the afternoon, and it's always mountain time, so it's a little bit later in the day. It's like Wednesday afternoon. I would say around noon, start looking. Let me think about that. Did they say one o'clock? It might be one o'clock mountain time, so that's like 11 o'clock Eastern time. So back it up. Around 10, 10.30, be starting to think about like um, looking for that list of retiring products that are gonna be coming out. And the, some of those things sell out super quickly, like those retiring ink colors I was just showing you, those always sell out fast. So I'm telling everybody, get stuff now, do it now before you you know, have to wrestle with people, you know, to get these in color stuff and in color products that are retiring, right? Um, yeah, and then just always there's, oh, I'm always, it's like a sad time because all this fun stuff is going away, but then it's also an exciting time because you know they're going to bring out all this fun new stuff in the new catalog too. So it's a fun time of year for us, right? So, uh, yeah, I'm like, I have all my notes here. Uh, yes, we, Sharon's saying, well, yes, you're right, Sharon. I see what you're saying. Yeah, you'll have plenty of time to check it out. Yeah, so just clear, like clear your afternoon, like morning, afternoon, next Wednesday to spend some time going through the whole list of um, items that are on the clearance rack. I think they usually will have, like if you go to stampinup.com and again, click on shop, they'll they'll give you a list of like, it's usually in two buckets, like retiring stamp sets, and you can see pictures of all of those, and then kind of retiring like everything else. So dies, ribbon, um, embossing folders, paper, all that stuff um, will be on there too. So, and some of it, they usually discount some of it, and then sometimes they'll wait and then give more discounts like later on toward the end of the retiring period so but if there's something you want don't wait because every year someone's like oh i wanted this paper or that die set and i wasn't able to get it so just don't wait then you don't have to worry about it right okay yes whoo i'm like i feel like i need to take a good deep breath right uh, here i am i'm like we were just talking um i was talking with my sister last night about the signs I'm like, one of them is like, uh, what isn't it? You can't get a good deep breath. I'm like, no, I do not have, <laughs> I promise. I'm like feeling totally fine. And then I'm like saying all these things that you guys are, uh, sorry, I'm like super paranoid. Um, so let's do, should we do our drawing? Let's do our drawing for, yeah, let's do that. For the ornate thanks stamp set. So this drawing is for anybody that put an order in last week from when we did Facebook Live on Friday afternoon uh, through Wednesday at midnight. So your name is in here. Let me make sure I'm going to go get the names in here. The one thing I will tell you is if you want your name in here, don't order as a no contact. So sometimes I think that has even, um, like maybe people set it up a long time ago, but what no contact means is basically that you don't want me to know that you ordered. Like I Stampin' Up! sends me an email and it says this person, but they don't give me your name. It's a no contact, like I can't contact you, ordered these items. So then I don't know who it is, so I don't have a name to be able to put into the drawing. So fortunately, Liz um, was on our Facebook group and she sent me a message saying, I went shopping and I know that she's set up kind of as no contact. So I was able to figure out, okay, she was the one that ordered and I put her name in here because I don't get too many like no contacts, but just kind of know that, that if, especially if you're like just setting your account up, um, I, I don't even know how it shows up because I haven't set up a new account like that, but just make sure to not check like 
no, like I don't want to be contacted by a demonstrator. If if you go through me, I will not like bug you and drive you crazy, but I want to put your name in here to do the drawing, right? So just kind of know that. Just put your, you know, give your name and all your contact info because, right, the other thing is I'm going to send you, if you spent at least $30, you're going to get these projects that I demonstrated last week. You can either get the make and takes or the full completed cards. You get these for sure. Your name is gonna go in this drawing right now. And then if you bumped your order up to $50, you got a choice. We're excited about this stamp set. And we are actually focusing on this stamp set in um, my downline meeting, my Inkspired Stampers, our group meeting. We're having that next week on Tuesday on Facebook Live on our separate Inkspired Stampers Facebook group, and I made some awesome make and takes that we're going to be making using the stamp set. So I'll share those with you guys next week so you can see the fun that we had making those. But this is just a beautiful, it's a thank you stamp set. Kate's here! Oh, sorry. Okay, so Kate, the whole house shook. <laughs> yeah, we live in a very old house with very old wood floors, and so yeah, I think everything just shook as he ran by. So yeah, you know, he's being shy, and he probably has like bed head. Like, yeah, like boys especially, right? Like if they haven't been able to get their hair cut, his, and he's got really thick hair, so he's gonna be like this big puff ball. <laughs> his hair is gonna be, I don't know how to cut hair. I was like, you know, I do have my paper snips. They're really sharp, so maybe we could do something with those, Kate, okay? but I don't, I don't know how to do clippers or anything, so. <laughs> he's gonna be in trouble soon. He's gonna be wearing a hat, I think. So anyway, okay, so let's do our drawing for the Ornate Thanks stamp set, right? Okay. So let's see, tossing these names around. We've got a couple in here. I don't know if I said hello to Wendy yet or not, but hello, Miss Wendy. I'm glad you could join us. It's funny, there's a little wave button, but if I push that, it'd be like pushing on the screen. That'd be funny. Okay, one name in here, and hey, Miss Liz. All right, you are one lucky lady that I figured out your no contact was you, so congratulations, Miss Liz. You are the winner of the Ornate Thanks stamp set, so I will get that sent right out to you, along with um, either the cards or the make and takes, depending on which you chose, right? And if your name was not drawn, too, I'll be sending out the make and takes um, or the um, completed projects, whichever you chose to. I send those out on Monday too, because I once I do um, the drawing and I get everything back from everybody, do you want um, finished projects or do you want um, the make and takes, then I prep everything over the weekend and ship them out on Monday too. So just so you know on that. Okay, um, you guys wanna see what we're gonna draw for uh, next Friday. On Facebook Live next Friday. So again, if you put your online order in of at least thirty of at least thirty dollars, you're going to use the host code that's on my blog, and then I'm going to give you when we flip the camera down. Your name can go in the drawing to win this super cute. This is the Hoot Hoot Hooray stamp set. So look at how sweet. Okay, I love owls. Um, I think they're just so interesting and then so cute when you put them on a stamp set, right? So super duper cute stamp set. You will not find this stamp set in the catalog. It's actually part of, this is um, what they call like a beginner custom beginner customer brochure. It says experience creativity on the outside. And this is a great little tool um, to give to brand new people, to, like new people to stamping. Because if you give them the annual catalog, that thing is like 200 pages long. It can get super overwhelming really, really quickly. So in this beginner brochure, they kind of go through, and it's, I don't know if it's 10 or 12 pages long, but they kind of talk about the kits in here. So they show you some of the kits, and then they even kind of um, build for you. So if you bought this stamp set, some of these other things, you could make these cute tags is another one um, and same idea they've got some more fun products in here like a simple stamp set and buy some more note cards and things and make simple cards another cute stamp set here and all the stamping you can do so the very i think it's the very last one yep the very last one is the cute little hoot hoot hooray stamp set and if you can see over here they show you these cute little cards that you can make so for example if you've got the hoot hoot hooray stamp set and then this list of things, products, the, well, get a clear block D to do your stamping, um, a basic gray ink pad, and then the whisper white note cards and envelopes. And then lastly are the watercolor pencils. So you can see basically you're gonna stamp all these images in gray on your whisper white note cards and envelopes. 
um, with your clear black D, and then you're gonna color them in with your, where do they show? I guess they show right there, the little watercolor pencils. So super cute, um, simple, and then they show you how you could get maybe the two inch circle punch and stamp and kind of just add a little bit of dimension um, two things. And yes, Philomena, it is. It's a great beginner brochure. And what I realized was we're going to be coming out with a new one. So I wanted to make sure to kind of highlight this. Um, if you need a copy of this, I'm happy to send one to you. If you're brand new and you're like, ah, I don't know how to get started. This is a great kind of, like I said, simple way to get started. Simple, simple stamping. It's basically just stamps and ink and paper. Um, and then you can kind of build from there over time. But it kind of helps you get your feet wet. Um, so yeah, very fun. Um, so we are going to draw for, again, this cute, you could do some fun coloring, right, with the cute Hoot Hoot Hooray stamp set. And let me show you what are the sentiments on here. We've got, you made my day. This one is always here for you. That's a good one right now, right? Uh, welcome little one. That's a cute little baby card, right? Hoot hoot hooray! That'll be what we can like all say when this whole pandemic is over, right? And happy birthday! Cute little cupcakes on there too, with some fun little stars right there, that, and that says for you. So super cute stamp set. We'll draw for this next week, okay? All right. Let me just check my notes because I think, I think we're ready to do some stamping, ladies. I just want to do a quick review and make sure. I think I showed everything. Yeah, let's do it. We're flipping the camera. Okay. Uh, let me get ready. You know, I gotta, I gotta get ready here. I don't need that or that anymore, right? Okay. I think we're good. Okay, turn your heads away for a sec. We fly through the air. And I'll show you what we've got in store today. All right. Good. This is the host code for April. X9M4R36Q. It's always on my blog at Gathering Ink with a K, GatheringInspiration.com. And honestly, you usually find it like peppered all over my posts on our Facebook group right here too. So, or if you ever have any questions, where's the host code? What's the host code? Any other questions that you have, email me at amy.ferlici at yahoo.com or call or text me. My phone number is 989 three three zero zero two five nine so i don't ever have a problem with you calling or texting if you don't get right through to me just leave a message and i will get back to you as soon as i can okay but i'd love to help you in any way that i can okay so just iris class to go because right this was our product of the week the inspiring iris stamp set hey karen hello hello Inspiring Iris class to go. I've been posting about this. More info on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. And then also been emailing and posting right here in our Facebook group. If you need info, let me know. But basically the idea is you're going to get all the parts and pieces to make two. Hello. Did I say Rosemary? Hello. I can't even remember. I saw your name and I thought, oh, I need to say hello. And I don't know if I did. So hello. <laughs> anyway, so Inspiring Iris class to go. It also features the beautiful foil, the noble peacock. Can you guys see? It's a little bit hard to see how beautiful it is. You're going to get parts and pieces to make two of each. Check out the foil on that one, right? Two of that one, the fun green, two of that one, and then this one's kind of fun, and then this thing slips in and out. Oops, it got caught on my adhesive. There we go. So that just slips right in and out of there. So two of that one as well. If you want more info on the Inspiring Iris class to go, let me know. I would love to get one of these kits sent out to you. Actually, RSVP deadline is next Friday, so you still have a little bit of time to think about it. Um, ask any questions that you have, but I'd love to get one of these to-go kits sent out to you. They are, and I have a feeling that will probably retire. So, okay, let me grab my grid paper and we will do our stamping. Okay, let me make sure I'm in view. This really helps me once I um, see like, okay, where's the grid paper? I can see if we're in view, then I know we're good. Okay, there we go. So fun, fun, fun projects today with this stamp set. No dot, well, no dies that go with it actually. And I don't know if you guys saw a couple, it's actually been a couple of weeks ago and I meant to post again, but on, so this is, it's the Demonstrator Planning Place Facebook group. So it's kind of a Stampin' Up run, kinda, 
yeah, loosely Stampin' Up! Run um, Facebook group that any demonstrator can be a part of. And what they decided to do was every like Thursday or Friday, they're going to post a challenge. Um, so a couple of weeks ago, I happened to see it and I was like, oh, I'm going to share that challenge on our Facebook group. And it had like six different kind of blues and yellows and oranges, like springy colors. Um, basically, the challenge was make a project using, um, you know, one or two or all of these colors. So I picked Coastal Cabana and Grapefruit Grove because I love these two colors and it felt super like springy to me. So this was kind of my um, inspiration to get started on the project that you are going to see right now with the Inspiring Iris stamp set. So I love this one. So you, you'll see, you can use the outline or you can just use the watercolor um, images. So you could stamp this and then stamp those two inside of there. Or in this case, I skipped this and I just stamped those two because I love how that looked because it's truly like, it's like a no line watercolor look. And I loved how that looked. I don't know if you can see, I put a little bit of texture. I used that, um, the subtle embossing folder. And then I have to show you, and it's funny because this, um, you pull it apart and I swear to, I really think it like shrinks back up a little bit after I put it on there, but I love pulling that apart because it looks, can you guys see? It looks like a little rug or a runner or something. So let me show you how we actually made. Okay, let's get these guys out. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put these right on the ink pads that I need them on. We'll put that one there. Okay, so let me give you dimensions first. I had somebody asking me the other day, what um like card base sizes are so listen right up so you know how to actually i made a tall card so we're gonna cut this is a full sheet of coastal cabana cardstock so you pull this right out of your cardstock pack and along the eight and a half inch side you're gonna cut it in the middle at four and a quarter inches right and then along the 11 inch side you're gonna score it in half at five and a half inches super simple tall card base right it goes like this you could even use it i don't do that very often but it's kind of fun it's almost like a book or something right you could have it opening that way or opening that way so we're going to do a tall one today okay then we have another piece of coastal cabana cardstock almost as big as our card base so this one measures four and an eighth so it's just an eighth of an inch shy of a full card base there, and then five and three eighths. Normally it's five and a half, we're gonna go five and three eighths. And that you're gonna see just layers right over top of that. Can you guys, I don't know if you can even see that, right? So just a teeny tiny little edge around there that's not covered, okay? All right, so let's do, what do we need? We're gonna do our embossing, but actually first, let's do our stamping. So we're gonna do this sending hugs, prayers, and lots of love which is part of right our Inspiring Iris stamp set, that sentiment right there. We also have other great sentiments. You are somebody who makes everybody feel like somebody. I think that's so cool. Wishing you the best and thanks. And then the beautiful Iris imagery. And I think I told you guys, right, that I planted some Iris bulbs from my brother-in-law's yard or garden. Um, well, back when it felt like spring, I guess I did that. Anyway, so I'm really, I'm hoping, I'm really, really hoping that we will see an iris or two pop up. I don't know, with the weather's been so weird. Things have started popping up. I don't know if they're all shriveling up because it's so cold. Okay, so this is my um, Grapefruit Grove ink pad on Whisper White cardstock. You saw that was just a quilt. We've got sending hugs, prayers, and lots of love. Let's do our die cutting. We're gonna do, yeah, let's move these out of the way, our die cutting and our, ooh. I forgot my embossing stuff. Okay, I'll have to grab that in a sec. We'll do the die cutting first since we have this right here. Okay. So I have my magnetic platform, one very well-loved clear plate, not so clear. They start out looking like that and then they end up looking like this after you use them a lot. You can see lots of etching happening in, in my plate. I have my layering oval dies and I always put them back here so I don't have to try to remember which ones we are using. So these came from right here and here. Okay, so for a straight edge, we use the second smallest, and for the scallop edge, we also use the second smallest, okay? So this is gonna go on our white sentiment, and then this is gonna go on our 
grapefruit grove piece. Okay, so this is like backwards. I don't normally put my arm underneath here like that, but that's okay. So there we go. Mm, isn't that funny? Does that look straight? It's probably good enough. Okay, and then we need one more clear piece on top. And we will do our die cutting. Okay. All right, so we've got that. I don't need that magnetic platform next, do I? Okay, but you guys see, if you're new, this is kind of fun how, oops, as I fling everything around, easy those things pop right out with the dies, right? And one of them fell on the floor. Let me grab that. I also need to grab my embossing plate so we can do our embossing there. One sec, I'll be right back. Actually, it wasn't my embossing plate. I needed, this is just the regular platform that comes with your die cutting machine. And then where's my, just, you can kind of see it just kind of creates, it's almost like a linen texture, which I thought was kind of fun because that designer series paper also has kind of a linen texture. And I realized I forgot to give you dimensions on those. I think I just told you about the card base and that was it. Okay, let's scoot those over there. All right, so we put our paper in our subtle embossing folder and we're just cranking it through and let's see what that looks like because I think maybe you can see it a little bit better. Can you kind of see that subtle texture on there? Kind of get it in the light there. Very fun, I love. It just kind of adds just a little something, you know, without it being too much, just adds a little something to your project because originally, I had laid these pieces just on here, and I, I did, I, it just needed a little something else. So when I added that piece that was embossed, it just kind of added a little something else. So while I'm thinking about it, let me give you dimensions. I cannot remember the name of this. This is one of our designer series papers that is in our annual catalog, and I will get you the name of it, but you can see it's that really pretty kind of linen look linen burlap look, and then there's the backside of that one. So this piece of designer series paper measures three inches by four inches, and then our whisper white piece that we're gonna do our stamping on measures two and three quarters by four inches, okay? So let's do our stamping on here after I grab another sip of water. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what do I wanna start with? I think we're gonna do the kind of leaves and stems first. So this is Coastal Cabana ink. All right, so we're gonna nice easy, you guys see me tap, tap, tap. We are gonna press straight down. Then we are going to use the flowers. There's just something that's so pretty about these, okay? I think that's upside down, we're gonna go that way. So tap, tap, tap. And you can see that little piece needs to fit right inside there. And then that is going to kind of sit right on top of that one. Um, and you do kind of need to learn that because you don't have the outline to kind of match stuff up with, right? Because we're not using this outline. That kind of helped me originally, but then I've done it enough times that I know how to place it so that it fits on there very nicely. Okay, I think we are ready to start putting some things together here. So let's do that. Oops, we're going to scoot these little babies out of the way. Okay, so we're going to add some adhesive. And because this is embossed, I, I do put a good amount of adhesive. My snail is not running very well. And I like to make sure it's in the four corners because I don't want those popping up. When you have that texture on the paper, it tends to not kind of stay down on your card base quite as well. So you want to add quite a bit of adhesive and you want to press really firmly to make sure that stays down. Back of these pieces. Okay, so here we go with our linen. I love this paper. It's really pretty floral too. So that one, I don't know. I'm not even going to guess because I can't I'll say the wrong name. Oh, and you know what is so funny? Just as I was like, oh, what's, I was thinking pressed petals, but I didn't want to say it. And then there's Sharon. Thank you, Sharon. Yes, this is the pressed petals designer series paper. I love, you guys are always such good helpers for me. So thank you, Miss Sharon, for the info on that one. I didn't want to say it wrong, but then when I looked up and I saw Sharon said it's pressed petals. So this is how 
this comes, and what is this called? The braided burlap. Hey, Tammy, thank you for sharing. Glad you can join us. The braided burlap trim, right? So we're just gonna cut, and I'm just gonna cut it a little bit wider because once you start, so can you guys see? This is what I start with, right? And then that's what we're gonna end up with. So what I was starting to say was I feel like it kind of shrinks back up, and probably as I'm pulling it apart, um, it's kind of shrinking as I, you know, in the back that I've already done at the the one end I've already done. So anyway, I just think like, isn't that so cool? And you can kind of pull it apart. You guys seeing that? You see like all the texture in there? I just think this is such cool stuff, right? So it add, and I can play with this for a really long time, really long time, because it definitely does kind of shrink back together but I feel like it shrunk back even more after I put it on the card. I don't know if that's possible or not. Oh, I forgot the other thing. Yeah, because I wanted to add. So this in crumb cake, woohoo, all right. Oh boy, ladies, let me see. Okay, so now this is um, tip number one, is always do all your stamping before you adhere this whisper white piece onto your card so that if it doesn't go well, you can flip it over and stamp it again. So we have opted to not do that. So let's just hope and pray that I can do what I want. I think I'm gonna be okay. Yeah, okay, that worked. That little, I don't even know what a little scroll work. And then this is just gonna kinda go down right about there, right? Okay, so look, I feel like it's already shrunk up. I wanna keep pulling on it. So sorry, I could do this for a long time. You guys are like, okay. I think it's almost gonna be easiest. Ooh, excuse me, boy. Okay, hold on. I don't know if I mess things up. Let's see about there. Is that going to help us? Sorry. Did not mean to bonk that. Um, I'm going to, instead of putting them on to my burlap, I'm just, oops, well, I was going to put it on the card. That was the plan. So I'm just going to lay a couple of these down. I probably could put it on the burlap, but we're going to try this and see what do we think about this because I'm going to fess up, ladies. The one that I originally made, I used my Fast Fuse, but because we don't technically have that for sale anymore, I don't want to tease you guys with it, but that's going to work. But look at that. Isn't that funny how it shrunk back up? Anyway, it's still very cool, right? So then last couple of steps, actually. A lot of scissors out here. We are going to just put a little bit of adhesive on our sentiment, okay? And because I don't like when things um, are uneven, I'm only going to put dimensionals up at the top, and then I'm going to add a little bit of snail, because this piece is going to go right on there, and it's um, going to go on that burlap, too. Okay, so this is going to work. Here we go. All right, that's going to go right there, right? And then last step. Firing. Um, I can tell you that already. I'm just positive because some of these dots are our in colors. So this is Pineapple Punch. That color is retiring. This is Lovely Lipstick. That color is retiring. And this is Call Me Clover. I am using these as if they're Grapefruit Grove, but I think they actually say they're Calypso Coral. And then these are Night of Navy. So can you kind of see you get five different colors in three different sizes. There's like a small, medium, and large. They're all small, but you kind of get the idea there, right? Okay, so we are just gonna peel up a couple of these little babies and we are gonna kind of sprinkle them on our card. So I have two really small ones right there. I did a large one right there and kind of a medium size one right there, okay? So there we go, sending hugs, prayers, and lots of love. That'd be a good card to send to someone at this time um, of, our lives as well, right? So, and I just love that little, uh, the watercolor. I just love that look. So there is card number one. All right, we're gonna scoot these. Actually, let's get, we need to get rid of the ink. I do need, let me show you guys. If you haven't used a chamois in a while, we are gonna use that. So here's my chamois, I keep it in. Can you guys see it's one, it's like a clear case. Um, you can buy these separately. You get a pack of like four of them, I think. So you can use them for other um, little odds and ends, maybe to store things in. So the chamois, 
um, it comes a little bit damp, I guess I would say, in the package. Once it gets dry, like I can feel this is a little bit hard around the edge, just run um, tap water over this and it will help kind of clean things off. It will not be beautiful. It will look like this for forever once you start cleaning. Originally, it's really kind of soft, pale purple, um, but once you clean your stamps, this is just what happens. So you just kind of rub them on here and I love, now I get literally no shadow. I, it's a magic to me. Okay, so we're just gonna do that one. We're gonna clean this one. So because I'm gonna use, hello, Miss Tammy. Thank you, Teresa, I'm glad you liked that one. Um, we are gonna use a couple of those stamps again, so I just cleaned them all off. Put the couple away that we don't need, and let me show you what we are gonna make next, ladies. Okay, sorry, I'm trying to be, keep myself organized, all right? Let's put those over here too. There, okay, so the next one is super duper fun too. Really bright, beautiful color combination. Now this one you can see I used the outline on and then did my stamping. And I just have to mention, because I love, and I think this is truly one of the best things about Stampin' Up! is kind of their color and product coordination. So what I mean by that is, for example, we used Daffodil Delight ink, we used Daffodil Delight cardstock, and we used Daffodil Delight ribbon. Same thing with our Bermuda Bay. This is a piece of designer series paper. Bermuda Bay ink there and there. And then the Whisper White kind of pulls from the Whisper White in our designer series paper too. So one of the best things that makes it so easy, right, to make beautiful, um, really well completed looking projects because of that color coordination that we have. So don't go buy in any other colors of cardstock. You guys all know, I hear this all the time, Stampin' Up! cardstock is bar none the best cardstock out there. So get the cardstock and then get the ink and get the embellishments and everything works so beautifully together, right? Okay, so let me show you uh, this project. Okay, let's put those right there. Um, we only need to, you know what, let's do our die cutting right now because we only need one little die cut before I get everything out. We're going to stamp our thanks, which is again from our Inspiring Iris stamp set, that cute little thanks right there. And thank you, Philomena. I'm glad you like that card. Uh, okay, so on here we're going to do this and then I'll give you dimensions. Okay, so we have Bermuda Bay ink, like I said, that matches our Bermuda Bay cardstock. We're gonna stamp our thanks, that nice, easy tap, tap, tap. Press straight down, lift straight up. Look at how cute that is. Love the cursive, because I have the worst handwriting these days, I think is why I love, <laughs> love that cursive. Okay, the other thing I wanna show you guys. So these are the perfect parcels dies, okay? So you get a bunch of them. It doesn't look like much right here, right? But you get these three, we're gonna use this one on there. This is a fun detail. This actually can fit right inside there. And then there's this whole box die that comes in there too. So this whole, oops, and a couple of extra little pieces here too. But this is a die. When you cut two of these, you can make a box with it. And then some little detailed pieces or a tag topper right there too. So an awesome set of dies. And we are just going to use the label die on this card. Okay here we're gonna scoot that stuff there too all right so let me little pieces are flying everywhere okay so we're gonna do our die cutting just on that little label so again I have my magnetic platform one clear pad I've got my white cardstock that I stamped my Bermuda Bay ink on ink and then that's gonna wing around a little bit that does that when that does that just move your paper you can't fight the magnetic field I always like kind of jokingly say that right but it's true then you put one more clear cutting pad on top. Okay. Crank in the handle and we are all set. And you guys, you all kind of know this, right? I don't even call this a big shot anymore because we're not even really selling a big shot. I believe in our next annual catalog, our new die cutting machine will be revealed. So super excited to see what that's going to be all about. We as demonstrators can actually see that next week. So that'll be very fun to find out what, what it's gonna be, right? Okay, so let me give you some dimensions. Again, we made another tall card. Let's move that up there, okay? So this time we have Daffodil Delight cardstock, okay? 
um, again, along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it in half at four and a quarter inches. And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches, okay? Got our crisp fold on our card. We're gonna scoot those right up there. Then, and I used, so the designer series paper comes, and I can't show you the back. Actually, I do have another piece. So this is the Brights designer series paper. You get two sheets of kind of that cursive writing. And on the back side is that chicken wire print, maybe? And then you get two sheets of the gingham and then kind of the, is that, I don't know, argyle, whatever you want to call that. Does that, sorry, I'm flipping it around. So here I am looking at it. I'm not sure if you guys could see it very well. So front and back of this one and then front and back of that one. So you get two of each of these. So you get four sheets and then 10 different colors in the brights pack, 10 in the subtles, 10 in the regals, 10 in the neutrals, but you get two of each pattern if that makes sense so kind of a fun um variety pack of paper with the colors and then a couple of different patterns so i wanted to use this gingham and see which one do we like better so this piece measures four inches by five and a quarter inches and then we have another piece of daffodil delight cardstock that measures three and a quarter by four and a quarter and whisper white that is three by four inches Okay, so let's do our stamping here. So this time, like I mentioned, I did use the outline image of the irises. So we are going to, and this is kind of a little ink pad and a big, and this one's a lot harder. This is a linen ink pad. I would never, you guys hear how it's like pounding. I would never pound like this on one of our other um, firm foam ink pads, but I think I'm good. And actually I need to do that twice, don't I? So we're gonna stamp once. And I'm gonna press firmly to make sure I get all the ink off and lift up. Okay, and we're gonna do that one more time. Maybe right about there. Okay, beautiful, right? So you could have some fun coloring that yourself if you would like to do that with watercolor pencils or your aqua painter or maybe our blends markers. I am going to just use our stamps again because I love how easy this is. Now, the one thing I did do was I stamped off on these because when I at first stamped this, this is pretty vibrant all on its own, right? I stamped fully and it was super like saturated. Like it was just a little too much for me. So maybe I'll just use this little, I got a little scrap paper right here. So we're gonna stamp it on scratch paper. And then what is left of the ink? <gasps> well, we're gonna do that one. Oh, let me show you. Okay, so I was gonna do, um, yeah, we gotta flip that over. Cause the blue is supposed to be down there. Hold the phone, ladies. Okay, that's all right, here we go. So we're gonna grab our, oh, what's that called, the chamois? That's the chamois, we're gonna just tamp that off there. I'm gonna show you how awesome our Whisper White cardstock is. Plus I got a little bit on there that I don't want on there. So we're gonna flip this over and we're gonna try it again. So we're gonna grab the black ink that almost looked like it had escaped. I'm gonna put that one on there so I remember <laughs> what I'm doing. Okay, so once again, I'm trying not to get black ink on anything either. Here, let's move you up there a little bit more so I have a little more room. Tap, 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 okay. Boy, I hope I can do this one right, because I only have two sides, right? Okay, so here we go. We're gonna do this one more time. Again, don't ever pound that hard with um, our other ink pads. Just with that linen black memento ink, you can do that. Okay, I think it probably needs to be re-inked too. That might be part of the issue. Okay, so now we're actually going to, oh, Oh, Nancy. Oh, perfect. I'm so glad I'm showing these today then. Nancy's saying that these are not orderable. So I don't know if that's going to mean that they're going to go away before we even get a chance to order them. Maybe we'll still be able to. Thank you for that info, Nancy. So if you couldn't do it with these brights colors, see, do, you, do you see how I'm stamping? I'm going to stamp off and then because I just it was too dark. It was too bright. It was too much. Um, when I stamped it fully. 
So you could always adapt. This is what I was starting to say. If you cannot get the Brights um, cardstock, if you don't have this already, the Brights Designer Series paper, you could adapt this and do maybe subtles. It'd be very pretty. I've seen lots. This stamp set, everyone is loving using um, like purples and greens. So you could do like a Highland Heather and like a pear pizzazz or something that you could change this. You could do this basic layout and then just change your colors. Just use some of say the um, Suttles paper instead would be a great choice also. So, okay. I think we did all of our stamping. Yeah. All right. So let's put things together. So you can see this was my little scrap paper. Just going to toss that aside. We are done with that. Okay. And we are going to add some adhesive on our white piece that we stamped. So you can see there's the stamping on the back. Once we put it on here, you are not going to be able to see right you cannot see the stamping that i did on the back there at all okay so now this one we wanted to see what do we like better do we like the kind of cursive writing or do we like this gingham i think they're both going to be super cute okay so we're going to put that one on there now my daffodil delight this is the ruched ribbon this is a fun can you see that kind of gathering i, I gave this away a couple of weeks ago on Facebook Live, if you remember. It was a fun, it was, um, this is a ribbon that is in our spring mini catalog and it was on back order for quite a while so I kind of hesitated showing it but it is available as of yesterday. Hopefully it still is available. Things change quickly sometimes. Um, so we're just tying a bow around here and that looks kind of funny. I think I'm going to, Let's see. We're going to do that one more time. Do you see how I like to kind of do it um, at the side? Actually, let's go that way right there. There's something about usually it helps me make a decent bow. We'll see. Try this one more time. And you can see that doesn't look so great. So then you just kind of keep your finger on the knot. And sometimes that works and sometimes it doesn't. But we'll just kind of keep playing. We'll get it there. Right, okay, so then you can kind of scoot that around a little bit. There we go. Okay, <laughs> so you could just keep playing and playing with that bow, right? We are also going to put some dimensionals on the back of our sentiment, our little thanks sentiment. We are gonna add these, uh, let's see. That looks good, right? Okay, I like to kinda, so I got a little blue smudge there, so we're gonna have to kinda cover that up. So we're gonna have to just scoot that down a little bit more. So you can see there are no mistakes, only opportunities to embellish, we say. So we're gonna just add that right on there. Now, we're gonna flip this over, and I'm gonna add, what is wrong with my snail? Sometimes it just doesn't wanna run quite as well as we would like. <gasps> no, you know what? Hmm. Okay, it'll be all right. I wanted to pop this up on dimensionals. So I am just going to put those dimensionals wherever I put my snail, and then I think that should work. Well, it's maybe a good thing that my snail didn't work so well. Oops, that one went off the edge. Let's scoot that one over a little bit more. There we go, okay, whoo. All right, we're kind of like a hot mess here, aren't we, ladies, huh? Whew, good thing. <laughs> good thing you all know me pretty well by now, right? Okay. All right, we'll pop those. I think that should work. We'll just be careful not to press super hard. Or if it does stick down there, it'll probably pop back up there. So we'll just kind of put that. I got to trim. Trim that just a titch. And then one final step is to add. Now, okay, these are the holiday rhinestones. They came in like a blue, a red, a green, something else. And this is actually orange. But this is one time where I thought... Um, cause I didn't, I couldn't find any daffodil delight, um, little rhinestones or gems or anything. So I thought this one, even though it's maybe more of an orange, like a pumpkin pie or something, I think you can kind of bend it to make it look like it is a daffodil delight, um, rhinestone instead. So these are still available as far as I know, the holiday rhinestones. I will give you the item code on my blog, but they are 150457 if you want to get a package of these. This doesn't show you anything because I've used most of them. But anyway, you got a few there that you can kind of see, but those were beautiful. 
Okay, I think we did it, ladies. Shoo wee, right? Okay, so let me give you a quick recap just so everybody's on the same page. Actually, here, let's pull this guy out because I forgot to mention last week, right? So if you put an online order in of at least $30 using our host code, the X9M4R36Q, you are going to get one of each of these cards, either fully completed cards or the make and takes. You let me know, right? Your name is going to go in the drawing to win the Hoot Hoot Hooray stamp set. If you bump your order up to $50... You are also going to get to choose from either the Demo Design Dream Team, the April tutorial, or a package of the new Gilded Gems. Let me see if I can show you guys this a little bit better, too. So these are part of the new Ornate um, Garden Bundle, I think it's called. So these are going to be in our next annual catalog. These will be around for a while. They are beautiful. We had lots and lots of fun playing with them on the projects that I'll show you guys next week. So, Teresa, you are welcome for the inspiration. I'm so glad you could join us. So let me know if you guys have any questions. Give me a little while this afternoon. I'll have everything uploaded on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com, and you can see pictures, item codes, dimensions, everything that you need to know if you want a quick recap. So thanks, guys, so much. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe, getting outside when you can. A guy just rode by on his bike. Okay, the snow is stopped. That's good, right? So, yeah, get outside. Get some fresh air when you can. Um, and stay safe and hopefully this will all be over soon and in the meantime we'll just play in our craft rooms and enjoy ourselves so thanks everybody we'll see you next friday at 11 30 a.m oh and don't forget those retiring lists are coming out next wednesday so mark your calendars everybody it's like hard to know what day of the week it is right so set an alarm on your phone or something so that you're watching for those retiring lists next week on wednesday all right bye everybody have a great week we'll see you or weekend we'll see you next friday